Psalm 96. O oh, sing unto Jehovah a new song. Sing unto Jehovah all the earth. Sing unto Jehovah, bless his name. Show forth his salvation from day to day. In our daily walk, we should show that we're saved. Declare his glory from among, declare his glory among the nations, his marvelous works among all the peoples. There shouldn't be anybody we're not, we wouldn't share what God has done with. For great is Jehovah and greatly to be praised. He is to be feared above all gods. For all the gods of the people are idols, but Jehovah made the heavens. Um, we get caught up in idols. People do, of course. If you feel like you're a Christian, you know you're not supposed to. You say, well, I'm not an idol. I'm not getting caught up in idols. Jehovah made the heavens. He actually does stuff. Honor and majesty are before him. Strength and beauty are in his sanctuary. Ascribe unto Jehovah, ye kindreds of the peoples. Ascribe unto Jehovah glory and strength. Ascribe unto Jehovah the glory due unto his name. Bring an offering and come into his courts. And God has given us everything that we have, our life, <coughs> families, material possessions, everything. What do we have to bring to him? O oh, worship Jehovah in holy array, tremble before him all the earth. Say among the nations, Jehovah reigneth, the world also is established that it cannot be moved. He will judge the peoples with equity. He's going to judge equally and equitably. Let the heavens be glad. Let the earth rejoice. Let the sea roar in the fullness thereof. Let the field exult and all that is therein. Then shall all the trees of the woods sing for joy. For Jehovah, before Jehovah, for he cometh, for he cometh to judge the earth. He will judge the earth, the world, with righteousness, and the peoples with his truth. What is truth? God's word is truth. The only thing that's true. The only thing we can count on to be true. Psalm 97, Jehovah reigneth. Which is true, we often look for him to come, but he reigneth now. Let the earth rejoice. Let the multitude of isles be glad. Clouds and darkness are round about him. Righteousness and justice are the foundation of his throne. A fire goeth before him and burneth up his adversaries round about. We cannot stand if we are against him. His lightnings lightened the world. The earth saw and trembled. The mountains melted like wax at the presence of Jehovah, at the presence of the Lord of the whole earth. <clears throat> the heavens declare his righteousness, and all the peoples have seen his glory. All the peoples have seen his glory. Let all them be put to shame that serve graven images, that boast themselves of idols worship him all ye gods we got to put him first Zion heard and was glad and the daughters of Judah rejoiced because of thy judgments O Jehovah but thou Jehovah art most high above all the earth thou art exalted far above all gods O ye that loveth that love Jehovah hate evil he persevered he preserveth the souls of his saints. He delivereth them out of the hands of the hand of the wicked. Light is sown for the righteous, and gladness for the upright in heart. Be glad in Jehovah, ye righteous, and give thanks to his holy memorial name. Gladness for the upright in heart, light for the righteous. He's going to light our path, and he's going to be with us, and we will be in his presence. And that will raise our spirits. Psalm 98. 
<coughs> oh, sing unto joy. <laughs> oh, sing unto Jehovah a new song, for he hath done marvelous things. His right hand and his holy arm hath wrought salvation for him. So he has brought about our salvation, not anything we do. Jehovah hath made known his salvation, his righteousness hath he openly showed in the sight of the nations. So God is very public. He hath remembered his loving kindness and his faithfulness toward the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Make a joyful noise unto Jehovah all the earth. Break forth and sing for joy. Yea, sing praises. Sing praises unto Jehovah with the harp. With the harp and the voice of melody. With trumpets and the sound of cornet. Make a joyful noise before the King, Jehovah. Let the sea roar in the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. Let the floods clap their hands, let the hills sing for joy together before Jehovah. For he cometh to judge the earth, he will judge the world with righteousness and the peoples with equity. His world, he's coming to judge us. Psalm 99, Jehovah reigneth, let the peoples tremble. He sitteth above the cherubim, let the earth be moved. Jehovah is great in Zion, and he is high above all the peoples. Let them praise thy great and terrible name. Holy is he. The king's strength also loveth justice. Thou dost establish equity. Thou executest justice and righteousness in Jacob. Exalt ye Jehovah our God and worship at his footstool. Holy is he. Moses and Aaron among his priests and Samuel among them that call upon his name. They called upon Jehovah and he answered them. He spake unto them in, a, in the pillar of cloud. They kept his testimonies and the statute that he gave them. We have to call upon him. We have to seek him. He wants relationship with us, but he's not going to force it. It's up to us. And if we don't want it, then there won't be one. If we want it, there will be one. Thou answerest them, O Jehovah our God. Thou wast a God that forgavest them, though thou tookest vengeance of their doings. Forgiven, but vengeance. There's some things we do that are not in God's plan, and there are um, consequences for it. But God forgives. God forgives. Exalt ye Jehovah our God, and worship at his holy hill, for Jehovah our God is holy. Psalm 100. Make a joyful noise unto Jehovah, all ye lands. Wouldn't it be great if worldwide everybody made a joyful no noise to Jehovah? If everyone called on the name of the Lord. Serve Jehovah with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that Jehovah, he is God. It is he that hath made us. And we are his, we are his people, and the sheep of his pasture. There are those out there who say we have made God in order to try and get people to conform to certain ideas. But God has made us. And we come to know him through faith in his son Christ. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Give thanks unto him and bless his name. Nothing we have do we deserve and nothing do we have that we could get on our own. It's all a gift. For Jehovah is good, his loving kindness endureth forever, and his faithfulness unto all generations. All generations. Even generations that don't necessarily want a relationship with him. He's still providing for them. One day they'll realize it if they don't choose relationship. But I pray. I pray that they will realize 
that we can do nothing of ourselves. We have to submit to His will. We have to go along with His plan. And when we do that, when we take the me out of our lives and put the him in there, it's, it's about him, it's for him, then we realize everything the psalm says, his loving kindness does endure forever. Everything that we have, he made and he allows in our lives just to bring us to him closer a closer relationship to him psalm 101 i will sing of loving kindness and justice unto thee o jehovah will i sing praises i will behave myself wisely in a perfect way O, oh, when wilt thou come unto me i will walk within my house with a perfect heart i will set no base thing before mine eyes i hate the work of them that turn aside it shall not cleave unto me. There are those who say they know the Lord, but they don't do his things. They turn aside from his ways. A perverse heart shall depart from me. I will know no evil thing. Whoso privily slandereth his neighbor, him will I destroy. Him that hath a high look and a proud heart will I not suffer. Mine eyes shall be upon the faithful of the land, that they may dwell with me. He that walketh in a perfect way, he shall minister unto me. He that worketh deceit shall not dwell within my house. He that speaketh falsehood shall not be established before mine eyes. When you think about that, living for God, living to honor God, being submitted to his ways, and then when we are around people, what do we do when they're not? In some point, yes, we should be focusing on ourselves and what is wrong with us. But sometimes what they're doing speaks to us. Morning by morning I will destroy the wicked of the land to cut off all the workers of iniquity from the city of Jehovah. So, we will work. We will speak the truth. We will speak his truth. We will speak of his ways. And we will be his arm. And we will go forth. Okay. Cut off the workers of iniquity from the city of Jehovah. It is up to us as Christians, as followers of the Lord Jesus Christ. And he talks about this in Deuteronomy, and you don't hear it. About the things we allow in our land. What are you going to allow in your land? Are you going to allow people who kill people? Are you going to allow that? Are you going to allow men who mistreat women who don't take care of their children? Are you going to allow that? And so when we're cutting off the workers of iniquity, we have to work very hard to learn his laws. We have to learn to, uh, to, we have to let him, it's not really working hard. We have to let him show us his laws, write them on our hearts that we will follow him and that we know what we would allow because there's so many things being allowed. And when we allow things that aren't of Jehovah, then it's iniquity. We become workers of iniquity. And we need to cut not only workers of iniquity off, but we need to make sure we're not one of them. 
And we don't do that by going the easy way in life. We learn his rules. We learn his statutes. We, le we have relationship with him. And we are with him as we learn them. And isn't that where we proclaim we want to be? With the Lord. And yet so few people seemingly do it. Father, I thank you for everything that you have given me. I have thank you for everything you have given us collectively as a people, which is everything. You made the earth we are on. You made us. You gave us breath. All the comforts that we have, that we enjoy, Lord, we can kid ourselves that they came from our hand but they really came from yours and father we know that you are faithful and your faithfulness endureth through all generations lord help us to not take that for granted help us to realize that it is your faithfulness, it is your heart that is doing it. And that the world is not just automatic and certain things happen as a result of other things. Help us to realize that, help us to grow ever deeper in relationship with you. And I pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. And thanks for watching.